audiri, audiwi, auditum. Sit down. You will learn these verbs for tomorrow, please. Dismiss. Thank you, Miss Bembridge. Good afternoon, Miss Bembridge. Virginia Dickinson, a word, if you please. Yes, Miss Bembridge? Where did you get them? They were on my chest of drawers. From where I took them. But we're allowed photographs, aren't we? Of relatives. But they're as good as my relatives. I'm one of the family. I'm informed that this happens to be your boyfriend. <laughs> well, you were informed wrong. That's Skeet. He's my American brother. I'm sorry, but it's against the rules for girls to have photographs of boys. Kindly take these home next weekend. Yeah. So, how was it? It was okay. Order mark. Okay. It's not okay to say okay. Oh. Baked beans on toast. Wow, this is the top. Mitch likes baked beans. Aunt Hannah told me it was one of your favorites. And this came from America for you. It's from Skeet. Aren't you going to open it? Sure. Later. Well, I'm sure we'd all like to hear the news, too. Unless, of course, you have something to hide. Children shouldn't have secrets from grown-ups. Margaret, what do you say? Why don't you want to open the letter, Virginia? Well, I was taught it was bad manners to read at the table. She's quite right, you know. Dear Rusty, I'm writing this listening to the Jack Benny Show. It was your favorite, remember? Last night we had a big dinner to celebrate my first shave. I wish you'd been there. We had a great party. How's everything over there in England? Virginia! Telephone! I'm sure we can. That would be lovely. Beatty for you. Beatty! Take care of yourself. Bye. Bye. Hi, how you doing? How's your ready indigestion? Oh, good gracious. I'm not ringing to talk to you about the state of my innards. It's good to hear, boys. How's school? Terrible. Mother says I'll be fine if I stick it out. Now listen. Rusty, half-term holiday in October. Would you like to come and spend it here? Oh, Beatty, I'd just love to. Your mother's agreed. So promise me you'll come. You bet. Even if you quarrel? Yeah, sure I will. Even if I can't manage to be there? You must be there. I'll do my best. And Rusty, let them get you down. Chin up. Eh? Okay. Bye. To be to the power of three. As I feared, you are behind academically. So it is in your best interest to take extra Latin, French, and mathematics and to give up the lighter subjects, art and gymnastics. But... Yes, Miss Bambridge. Oh, by the way, Virginia, your mother informs us she has to go to Devon urgently. A friend of hers is very ill. So you will be staying here this weekend. Beatty, is it Beatty? The Honorable Mrs. Langley? No name was mentioned. I'm sure your mother will be in touch soon. Virginia Dickinson, no dawdling in the ranks. Hey, Yank, get a move on. Hey, Yank, are you from the States? Well, I was evacuated there. Me too. Where'd they send you? Vermont, Burlington. <laughs> I went ice skating there once. Me too. Millions of times. Hey, 
You know what I miss? Chocolate milkshakes. Me too. And Coca-Cola. Oh, there you A very serious matter. Yesterday, one of the lower third was seen by a member of staff talking in the street to a boy. A public breach of school rules. Virginia Dickinson will receive a discipline mark. The first to be given in over two terms. She has tarnished the honor of the school. We all share the shame. Press the salt, please. <laughs> <laughs> Get you creeper. She was the kindest friend anyone could ever have. Her ruddy indigestion must have been far more serious than she ever let on. The funeral was on Tuesday. I'm sorry you couldn't have been there to say goodbye. I know how fond of her you were, too. But we'll go to Beatty's house at half term, as we promised her we would. Take care of yourself, darling. Your loving mother. wall of my school, whistle Star Spangled Banner. Oh, who cares? 